Hey everyone, Illusionist Dave, and today I'm going to show you um, some different things you can do with textures uh, to play around with textures. Um, I cr was just playing around with them earlier, and I created a, a grass look uh, texture. So, click File New. I've got a 500 by 500 by 300 uh, resolution. Click OK. I'm going to make that smaller so that you can actually see it. I've got a I've got here a green color and let me show you it is the brick wall texture scaled at 81 brick wall texture scaled 81 angle 0. Click okay. It, my background I have bricks not brick wall but just bricks which I, I don't know, I, th I actually don't know if I, I, I don't think that these are built in. I think you have to um, download these, these uh, textures. I may have made them myself, actually. Uh, but nevertheless, um, if you need them, contact me. You can email me, and I'll get them to you. But uh, I scale the bricks at 28. Click OK. First thing, click OK. Grr. Now, first thing is you're going to lay in your background. Uh, I've got the brush, square brush set at a size 500. It'll fit right over this image. There you go. Now, go right back over the image. And there you go. Now you get this look. Now, this looks pretty cool, but we're not done yet. First off, we're going to duplicate the layer. Duplicate. Click OK if you get that. Uh, I'm going to make the second layer blend mode. Um, I can't remember. No, it was multiply. Multiply is what I wanted. Um, we're going to go to both layers. Go to it. Adjust, add remove noise, add noise. Uh, I said 100% monochrome. That works for me on that layer. Then we're going to go to the second layer, like I said. Adjust, add remove noise, add noise. Again, we're going to do the 100% Gaussian monochrome. Click OK. And this is what your product, finished product, essentially looks like. Now, if you think it doesn't look good enough, you can always go to adjust, blur, and then get you a blur like uh, Gaussian, which actually is going to be, I wouldn't even do that, honestly. Well, yeah, you might could do... You could go up to 8 and it would look pretty good. But see, this gives you a nice little uh, grassy texture. And you could do that, use that with anything you wanted, really. Um, and that's just experimenting with textures. Um, I also created a carpet kind of look using the same idea. But uh, here, I'll show you. But I used a red, and actually the texture I used, I used a um, grid, I used grid texture over the brick texture now. Um, Go ahead and cover in your grid texture, and then uh, excuse me, sorry. Go ahead and do your. Uh, actually, I did that in reverse. Go ahead and do your uh, first your brick, and then your uh, grid brick, then grid. You get something like this. You can now uh, duplicate that layer. Click OK. 
I put this one, I think, on overlay. Overlay. And this was actually, I had it more red than what it is now. So this might look kind of funky, I apologize. But now what you do, again, is just uh, adjust, add remove noise, add noise, click OK. And just in case you can see through the back to the background, go ahead and add noise there. And now you've got like this carpet effect. So play around with the textures. I think you can do a lot with them. Uh, I think you'd be surprised if that looks too uh, sharp, except for the fuzzy looking stuff. You can always go to adjust blur and then do average or Gaussian. Let's look at Gaussian real quick. Quick. Um, even up to a hundred. Oops, I was on the wrong layer. Let's see now. Now let's try Gaussian blur. Adjust uh, blur Gaussian. Uh, yeah, for this one, you don't really want to use too much blur. Uh, one is okay. Two is stretching it, but it still could probably look okay. Uh, that's two right there. And oh, let me get it back to two. Click OK. And you can see you still got the texture carpet, but it's just a little bit blurry. Uh, you could always also go to adjust blur average and then adjust your filter there. Uh, so mess around with it, have fun. Those are textures you can use. Um, and you can mix the textures and come up with some neat things. Carpet or grass. Lots of different things. So, hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Until next time, I will see